kill him. Get his get his orb. Sacrifice. What the heck? Hey yo, Bajaj. We're back on the house duty on Roblox and uh new update. The uh the season one came out yesterday. I don't know if any of you guys were there for the stream. If not, that's okay. Uh I'll probably be like just showing off all the stuff. You can tell the map is a little different, definitely with these like portals on the ground. And look, Blood Killer. They I'm pretty sure Blood Killer is the one that gave us the other towers from the stream last time. Why did you give me more? Kaboom Kitty Urn. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Um Let's take a look over here, I guess, at the dark rifts. Scully, I've been studying these rifts day and night. There's an energy emanating from them that defies our understanding of physics. I was kind of sad on stream that we couldn't like just jump in them and maybe it like teleported us to one of the other portals. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, what does the guy have to say about them? Have you seen the unsettling rifts? They appeared out of nowhere, pulsating with a dark energy. I don't like the looks of them. Stay sharp. Will do. Uh, d wait, I never did even check. Does the welcome guy say anything new? Welcome to the house. I'm Scully. I can help you out. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No. And then here's this guy. Uh, you see them too, don't you? The rifts. They're more than just tears in our world. They're gateways, paths to something ancient and forgotten. Very cool. Thank you. Wait, and I don't know if this is this new. What is this stuff on the ground? And then there's this chainsaw and these trees that are cut down. I don't know if that's new or not. The house. And then you got your new, before we had like that one pet, uh, what is it? Pets. We had Spike, but now we can get Casper, which is sick. If you talk to this guy, and I think if you press E on him, you, you, you can get your other pet. Um, I don't think these guys say anything new. There's this piano here. I don't know if that was there, but there's like balloons everywhere, which is pretty cool. The crypt. Everybody's got like their little party hats on. I don't know if any of these guys, um say anything new probably not but over here for sure you can see death's office before this was closed and now it's open death's office and we tried this out earlier on stream uh this guy has to say death has opened his office for business here you can sacrifice heroes to make others stronger example if you sacrifice a demon boy you'll get a demon boy soul orb you can use this to power up another demon boy very cool And then here's death, little bojo. Welcome to my office, sacrifice your heroes to me and I'll give you their souls back. Uh, tell me more. He's a hero soul to power up another of the same kind. I'm always in need of more bodies to work in the underworld, but you can keep the souls. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, yes, please. So here, like you can offer. So if you have multiple of like, um, let's say death angels for, for uh, an example. I would come over here, sacrifice this infernal one. I would get a soul orb and then I could increase a certain stat on that guy. That's why we have this like number two and you can do it a, a, of a max of five. If we view this, I increased my damage. You can see this one point next to it and it's level two. You can get up to level five. And then you're going to need these death certificates to be able to do it. You're going to need the soul orb. So you're going to sacrifice one of your characters and then you're going to have to buy a death certificate. And it looks like you can buy them for a thousand gems. I don't have enough right now to buy it though, sadly. I'll do it near the end of the video or something. And if we come up here, we have like a new season of a premium earned towers. Even though I only get wizard, there's the the wizard Draco, Sally Face, uh, Demon Girl, and Super Punch. And then up here, of course, after we collect all of them, come next season, the end of, of this chapter. Uh, we get darkness, kind of like Night Fang. And oh my goodness, Night Fang looks crazy. And then um, also, yeah, right here, Kitty Cat, Kaboom Kitty, and Fallen Angel. There's also the new um, limited hero earns with these guys. 750 Robux, 1250, and 3500 for these guys. And then your new VIP pack. You get the Doom Tower. I kind of want to, I want him so bad, but I, I got to get some Robux. I definitely have to buy some. And you get your normal like currency, a thousand soul gems, 10 premium urns, and 50 voodoo tokens. And we were actually gifted uh, a few a few things uh, during the stream. I, I have no clue why this stuff was given to me, but luckily we got shiny, shiny school shot with nightmare on it. Pretty epic. Uh, and then one of the new, a couple of the new towers, Arch Archangel and Bloodclaw. 
take a look at blood claw uh blood claw has a nightmare on it it looks like 52,500 damage with a 0.25 attack speed blood claw a deadly young werewolf whose bark is as bad as his bite <laughs> the house tends to reveal our true selves that it, that is especially true for anything that is touched by curses werewolves cannot change back to the human form uh, to their human form within these grounds almost like power is being forced out of them blood claw doesn't mind as long as we keep him with a health healthy feed of monsters he'll happily tear through them awesome and he has 15 percent damage versus demons which is really cool i think that might be the new floor as well uh we have archangel i haven't really tried it out yet there's the 1350 boost with a uh, five attack speed. It doesn't have a curse on it though. So once we get a curse on it, it'd probably be pretty good. Maybe like Infernal or Nightmare. Archangel of being of supreme holy power. Here's the lower page. When the angels first came to us, we thought our problems here were solved, but the house slowed our progress. Now it seems the domains of life and death have decided to send reinforcements. And with the passive, we get 20% boost for other holy heroes. Hopefully the boosts stack. And also with Nightbing, it's like a 0.25 um, boost. Like it can boost every tower in its range, it looked like, when we had used it on stream. I think that's all the new stuff. Oh, and the Nitro, of course. You got the, um, over here, we're going to have the new Endless mode. Come over here, and you're going to have the Scrapyard or something like that. Let's go over here real quick. Right here, you can see we have Beware. Then we had the maze, of course, with skull shot. And then scrapyard, 8 out of 10. Difficulty, 8 out of 10. And they move like the urn to 150 plus for the new tower. Like before it was 100. But now you also get three premium urns. I'm definitely liking that a lot considering uh, chapter zero, that like little first season. Um, it took forever. And then they finally added a pity system. So hopefully now we'll have plenty of time to be able to collect all of those uh premium towers but you can see there, there's one exit point there's like one two three four entrances shouldn't be too bad right and then rewards of course you want to get to that 150 to be able to get that uh nitro character and i don't think there's any new enemy types the map is uh a little different got a different color grading and stuff but um the enemy types are kind of the same in endless and i kind of kind of saddened by that but that's okay and then also day seven is that we got a new like streak tower it's leonidas or something like that i can't remember what it is heroes hero log what's his name it's like that spartan character here leonidas leonidas i think that's what it is i think in the update log in the announcements it said like there's 21 total like new heroes oh yeah jerome asf there's another code that you can type in Jerome ASF, and you can get that Jerome Tower. Forgot what he is. I think he's purple. Yeah, right here. Jerome ASF, it's a collaboration hero, kind of like the Melon Masher. I don't know if it's any good. It's got a thousand damage and uh, 0.5 speed, but a 1.1 boost. Eh, I guess if you're like new to the game and you type the code in, it's pretty good for a new a new tower, a new player. But here's Nitro. I've heard he's like full AoE, like he's AoE tower. Nitro, the legendary daredevil with AoE chainsaw attacks. Very cool. His, his like character style is really dope. I like the whole like scrapyard look. Nitro is completely human. All of our tests confirm it. There's nothing special about him. So why did I just witness him cut through the thralls of the house like butter? Ugh, whatever. Stick him on the payroll. Full AoE damage and range. Pretty cool. Human. His attacks are only human. Nitro. Very cool. Gotta get a curse on him and stuff. I have no curses though. And there's a few like new stuff that we got. Like we got the wizard, we got wizard going. Knowledge shines a light into the dark, Oswald. Oswald came to study the house's latent uh, magical energy, which has since turned into obsession. He has since resigned his position at the wizard's guild and joined us here to further his research into the dark rifts. Boosts heroes with his magic. He has a 0.18 boost. And of course the shining variant probably has a bigger boost. I did have, a, I, I did have one, but I think I traded it in the, uh, in the stream. blues i don't think we got anything new purples we did get something here oh yeah the wandering mage we saw this too uh, wandering mage the lonely magician he's got a max 80 damage with a attack speed of five and he also has another boost um 
that's not a mage. That's 100 suit spirits in a trench coat. But I suppose if it can do magic, there's no reason to turn it away. Boosts paranormal heroes by 10%. Pretty cool. I was kind of sad that there weren't any new curses to work with. Or definitely some some sort of support curses. Would have been great. So I guess right now, like, uh, there's plenty to grind for. Like, there's new premium towers. You got your nitro in endless mode. And of course, just keep uh, getting all your towers that you can for the orbs to max them out with a max of five uh, upgrades. If we come down here to the crypt, uh, a couple heroes are like, um, like banished or something. Yeah, banished heroes. These heroes have been banished from the house. Weakness is not tolerated here. You'll find them no more. Rip Sage and Necromancer. <laughs> Sucks to be them. Yes, indeed. Sucks to be you, Necromancer and Sage. Feels bad. So I'm guessing like you can't find them in the tomb anymore. Oh my goodness. Look at this. We got that purge and then the, the angel tower. Let me roll for it. Why not? Oh, it's a little laggy. That's okay. Oh, lovely. Give me more greens. I, I needed more greens, honestly. And here's the realms. We finally have like Mortimer doing stuff. So realms, you can find realm keys by defeating maps or I can sell you some. I got a few lying about here somewhere. I'll sell you each key for 500 soul gems. Awesome. Um, I don't know if I have any keys on me. Yeah, I don't have any keys on me. Let's see. I can probably sell some stuff and get some keys. All right, boom. We got we got us some Jimmy. <laughs> some Jimmy's. All right, let me buy one realm key. Sweet. Let's have a, head over here to realms. Every time you enter a realm, it will cost one times realm key. The, the cool thing about realms is that you get a guaranteed like premium earn. And there's like that new the new hero type. I'm pretty sure right here with the uh, heroes, then this like uh, new rarity. I think that's from this area, this tower right here. Arcane heroes are legends of old. Each a remnant of the realm's hidden past revived from forgotten memories. Corruption. Corruption is the first arcane hero, a warrior who fought corruption that cursed the whatever that word is and their hometown. Really, really cool. And I think right here we can see the rewards. Wait, what is this? That would have been cool. Just teleports me behind the Burger King. I'm kind of worried. I don't know if I have the towers for it. Let's hope that I do. Realms. Uh, once a vibrant hub of art and tradition, this town fell under a shadow when a curse ensnared its whatever that word is, transforming them into undead beings who now wander its eerie, deserted streets. Boss. The cursed blah blah blah. Here's our rewards. You can see that we get a 100% chance of a, a premium earn, 20% uh, for 5 voodoo tokens, 10% for a random earn, 5% for that new corruption earn, 5% for another key, and I'm guessing that's a pet. Like a new pet. Oh, you can up the difficulty in this place too. I wonder if that does anything for you. I'd love to see the uh, the stats of the new the new tower as well. So we have one, two. Is that an entrance right there? Three, four, five, six, six places where the enemies come out on. And I don't know if these are like boosty areas. If these like boost your tower or not. So we have what 160, 160 on our mask. Does this do anything? It does. 200. We have a 200 boost. That does like give us a little boof. All right, and as you can see, we have like new enemy types. Oh my goodness, I should probably be placing my towers. Oh my goodness, I haven't used this tower yet. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, look at his little beam. Gosh, the wings. The the whole the whole character looks awesome. I need to get him cursed. You can also place five of these guys. A little bit more than the regular angel that we had before. Alright, we're maxed out on Lucifer's, Death Angels, and Archangels. Get our little uh, demon mage down. So what's the costing? 9k to upgrade? Oh my goodness. 6k, and then of course Death Angel. We'll upgrade our Lucifer's first. Well, with all of our little beamage, I think we're going to be hopefully okay. There's only 15 waves in the, um, in this mode, this realms thing. I don't know if any newer realms or any realms to come will have more. I have no clue. 
so shining demon main gives a 0.23 uh damage boost but the new like night thing or whatever gives 0.25 wait oh, i should probably look at how much the upgrades cost so 9k for the first upgrade 22.5 for the next 57,500 75k wow it's got a range of 56 that's without like infernal or even nightmare Ew, look at these enemy types. They look so weird. I love it. It's amazing. Got 40k HP. Um, what else do we have here? 175,000. Why am I if I click on these guys, it like pulls up something else. 75k. 125 we saw there. I'm pretty sure the boss might do something actually on this map. I kind of forgot though. It might stun our towers or something. I don't know if the boss is guaranteed to spawn at a certain spawn point or it's just random. We have so much beam in just the beam team. <laughs> Where are they at? Where's the boss coming from? Is it down here again? Okay, yeah, the boss is coming from down here again. Here's the uh here's the boss for this map, the realms. So this scaling it has three million five hundred uh thousand. I think last time we did it, it was like six mil. Or maybe that would have been the first map of the floor seven. I can't remember now. We tried it on stream though. I'm pretty sure this boss does something if they get close to your towers. Am I going to be able to kill this boss though? I should have probably brought Blood Claw maybe. I don't know what type of enemies these are. Considering the type is still just NA for some reason. Like they have all these enemy types. Why don't they just list that on the these enemies? Oh, see? What does that do? Your hero has been love struck. What hero? And what does that do to him? <gasps> oh, did we get the pet and a key? Oh my goodness we got key pet and voodoo tokens and of course you get a guaranteed premium earn look at that xp that you get from this area 14 1400 i would love to get the uh the, the new tower that'd be great but uh we still got some pretty cool drops let's see collectibles we got a realm key pets oh here we go we got this pet very cool all right i think i'll also show off I think I have enough gems to buy a death certificate. I'm going to show off this real quick because I didn't get too earlier. Let's see. One death certificate. Thank you. Let's see. Does this work? I'm kind of curious. Does it work with shinies and non-shiny variants? So we have um shiny demon boy. Or here. We got skull shiny skull shot. Can we take a skull shot? Like kill him. Get his, get his orb. Sacrifice. What the heck? Yes. Yeah, sacrifice. Real. I didn't hear that last time. Skull shot, soul orb, use. We use. Oh, we can. So if you have regular variants, you can use it on your shiny boy. Now we just increase his what? Speed? <laughs> damage? Oh my goodness. Look at that damage increase. Either way, it's 10% increase in speed, 10% increase in damage, and 10% increase in range. I'm going to go with the damage. So we just click it. <gasps> Boom. Now our shiny skull shot should have the uh, little bubble in them. Yeah, two. And you can see it, it's tradable or it was traded and be careful when trading guys you can only trade these things once and that's why they're marked like that this guy's marked and this guy's marked uh with urns i don't know i think urns you can just trade them as much as you want and then lastly i guess we'll take a look at floor seven and the floors in general because i'm pretty sure they changed the rewards on everything yeah you can see right down here so like even oh wait floor one floor two three four five okay starting at five you can get the keys six seven boom one two three four five okay so there's only five rooms this time oh there was only five last time so we got pet it's got two new pets on here we tried room one i don't know if i can do that by myself we can try the guy had like a lot of hp we also have some new enemy types which is nice too i think i probably should have brought my blood claw for the damage we might need angel now as our starter instead of the mask kind of worried about that now you might need some aoe on this floor or on this room just for them the amount of enemies that we're gonna have eventually look at the little enemy types imps and little creepy crawlies and heads flying around so far it's not any reskinned enemies and I'm, I'm loving it oh there's the minotaurs we have more minotaurs but they, they have they're a little bit customized it's okay we kind of just got introduced into that enemy type, so it's kind of good that we uh, have more of the Minotaurs. So much beamage going on. Give me more monies. 
I guess all that I can do is place some masks down. I have everything maxed out. Death Angels, Lucifer, Archangel. There we go. Whoa, look at these guys. Colossal Demon. I think they're getting drained. I couldn't even look at their max HP. <laughs> Come on, guys. Little bojos. You more creepy collies. So 100, 100k? That ain't bad. 75,000 on these creepy crawlies near the end. Ooh, demon hymns. Look how many there are. But our beam just going beam beam. Coming up on the next next to last wave, or uh, look how many enemy types there are. Or just enemies that are coming. Kind of worried. We may need some AOEs, uh, AOE towers slotted on our kid. The beam inch do be beaming. Look at all the Minotaurs. They're everywhere. I love it. Beamage. All right, boss wave. So many M's. Here's the boss. Okay, this time it has 2,500,000. Not too crazy. But we have tons of enemies that we got to worry about. This is probably what's bad if you don't have any AoE to hurry up and try and clear out all these enemies that we have here. Yeah, look at that. It's not too bad once you slot an AoE tower on, though. This isn't, this isn't anything. Hero is burning. What does that exactly do to our tower? Do they eventually die with um, all of the, all of that fire on them? Look at all that. Look at all those enemies. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not even worried about it. I just wanted to show it off. I think that's pretty much everything on the uh, on the little update. I'm excited to play. There's like lots of to grind here. More gameplay. Sadly, the Demon Slayer stuff still isn't here. It's just been coming soon the entire time since the game's been out. And then we have these elevators that aren't opening. Well, what are your guys' thoughts? What are your guys' opinions? Have you guys gotten any of the new towers? Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And uh, take care.